All right, welcome to the squat chain workout for round three here in the push pull squat challenge. Today's tech tip is combining what we learned the other day about the idea of getting really good squats by driving the hip closer to the heel for all of our squat chain movements. And one of the best ways to accomplish this is to not only just drive the hip closer to the heel, but to actively pull your hip closer to the heel using your hip flexors, your hamstrings, and even the muscles in your shin. So one of the ways you can practice this with a warm up for today is to stand on one leg and pull the other leg up as tight as you can. I'm pulling my toes closer to my shin with dorsiflexion. I'm pulling my heel closer to my hip with my hamstring, and I'm really trying to get my knee higher with my hip flexion. Practice several repetitions of this, kind of like you're doing a really low kick, which this is handy if you're a martial artist out there, and it gets that type of pulling motion dialed in. Now you can practice this pulling into the squat motion with any squatting technique, lunges are particularly good, but for the micro workout today, we're gonna be using the good old fashioned goblet squat. And I particularly like the goblet squat because the front loading action of it makes it real simple and easy to get the hips down low while keeping the upper body relatively upright. And it's also a very particularly good way to get that feeling of pulling with your shin muscles, your hamstrings, and your hips without feeling like you have a heavy bar on your back or feeling like you're always keeping your weight behind you and compromising that pulling motion. I'm gonna go for 10 to 12 repetitions, but have a very pronounced pause at the bottom of each repetition to really get that squeezing tension control movement pattern dialed in. And then for the finisher today, we're going to have the classic suspension hamstring curl. Now the hamstring curl is typically thought of as an extension chain exercise because it's your hamstrings, but in this case, it's very much squat chain because we're focusing on still getting that pulling motion of getting the heels closer to the hips. You can progress with crossing your ankles or even single leg variations or add weight by putting a weight on your hips. Here are the first two videos in the third round of the push pull squat challenge for push chain, chest, shoulders, triceps, and pull chain, back, biceps, and the rear deltoids. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow for the ELF workout. Be fit, live free.